Today, we are looking at my affordable endgame burn build. This build includes not just one, but two burn build guns that are so easy to get and you don't have to spend any star from. This burn build is so OP for soloing hard mode bosses and for even PvP. It includes the Cam Crank AK and the Hammer Crumble Sniper to make the most out of our burn perks. I've built the whole build without the Wish Machine as well to keep it cheap and accessible. I would argue that burn builds are some of the best builds for doing PvE because you can get your ticks on, reload and take cover while you're still doing damage to your target. It's actually insane. So without further ado, this is everything you need to know to make your cheap endgame burn build so you can save up your star crom. First, I'll give you guys an overview of how the burn build works and then we'll jump into where to find the guns and the gear set to boost the burn build. And finally, we'll cover calibration, alterations and mods, deviants and the cradle perks. So how the burn build works is it is calculated off your Psi intensity just here. Burn builds deal status damage of 10% Psi intensity every 0.5 seconds for 6 seconds. The damage increases with more stacks up to 5 stacks. The additional damage is blaze element. It cannot crit, cannot strike weak spots and will not decay with distance. So the good thing with the AK burn is it doesn't need crits. Basically the way burn damage is calculated is similar to power surge. And by that, I mean it goes off your Psi intensity. And it also gets damage from status buffs and element buffs. So this build is designed to increase your Psi intensity and increase the burn damage, stack damage by using a few little tips and tricks. So in this video, I'll tell you guys how to increase your Psi intensity so that you get more output from these guns. So the Cam Crank AK, are as follows hitting enemies seven times triggers burn killing enemies with burn grants reload speed and burn damage plus 15 and max burn stacks but one the main takeaway here is hitting enemies seven times triggers burn it doesn't go off crits it doesn't go off weak spot damage just seven times so the thing we want to make sure we do here is make sure that we hit the enemies seven times as fast as we can to proc as many burns as fast as possible so what we've done in the gun here, for instance, is we've put the flame resonance in it, which means max burn stack plus two. So we get extra burn stacks, duration is less, but we're getting more stacks, which works with this here in our scout mask, which is blaze amplifier and every stack of burn grants plus three psi intensity. So because we're getting extra stacks, we're getting extra psi intensity and therefore we're getting extra burn damage. So this is why this build works so well. These two mods together are insane and they just bounce off each other. And then we've got some really awesome things here that work with the hammer sniper. This sniper is one of the most underrated snipers and I've really started to get a feel for it now. The hammer sniper has a 60% chance to trigger burn with a weak spot hit burn damage plus 10. So if you snipe them and hit them weak spot, you get extra burn damage buff on the target so it means if you start with this your burn damage is going to be increased when you switch to your ak so these two weapons work really well together we've also got the barbecue gloves and this basically doubles our burn damage so burn damage frequency increases with the number of stacks up to 100 percent so this means the burn damage frequency is increased with more stacks so that's why we've got all these mods working together and we've even got some cheeky ones like this one here which only works with the hammer sniper and I'll go into that in more detail but basically we're building around hitting enemies as fast as possible to trigger as many burns as possible to increase our psi intensity and get it as high as we can so that we can get a great damage output so now we know about how burn works and why we've chosen these guns I'm going to tell you guys how to build to capitalize to unlock this AK you need to go to the Red Sands Fort Airy. So if you guys want to unlock the AK, it's unlocked for the level 45 quest. So push through your quest line and make sure you focus it. But the best thing about this set is you can start it early because you can actually get the Hammer BP from the really low level. The Hammer Sniper BP is found at this rift anchor well, this is a level 17 area so this is really low level you can actually get this sniper really early on to start your build so it's a great combination to actually use with the scout set early 
that's why this build works so well because these are all pieces you'll get by just playing the game and you can save the rest of your star crom for when you want to use a wish machine on another build but you can test something in the meantime and you'll have a build that will carry you through the most parts so this is where to get the sniper rifle so once you've unlocked those you'll obviously want to unlock gear sets For gear set for this build, we've got three pieces of heavy duty. So we've got element damage plus eight. And after killing an enemy, we get elemental damage increase by 40%. So this is a really strong set for anything that's using element or status damage. And then I've got two pieces of scout, which give us weapon damage plus eight as well. So scout set is a really nice set that you can get really early on in the game. I think it's one of the first sets you can unlock. Finally, obviously, we've got our key piece of armor, the barbecue gloves. These barbecue gloves are the secret sauce. They make the damage frequency increase with the number of stacks up to 100%. Barbecue gloves are found at East Blackfell Junction on top of the roof in the mythical chest. So the heavy duty set is actually pretty easy to get. So for the heavy duty set, you can obtain it from mystical treasures discovered from exploring the chalk peak. So you only need to go to the Chalk Peak to get the Heavy Duty set. So Chalk Peak is only a level 32 zone. So you do these Rift Anchors in the Chalk Peak area and you'll find the fragments in the Mythic Chests in here. So make sure you guys run all of these and make sure you focus on the Mythic Chest for this set specifically because it's great. On a side note, don't unlock all your fragments. If you get more pieces, don't unlock them instantly because if you, for instance, unlock the gloves of this set like i think i accidentally might have you're not going to be able to use them because we're going to have the grill gloves bp so be really careful and i would say save your blueprint fragments until you've got all the pieces you've got enough pieces to unlock many and then figure out what set you're going to combine them with because you want to make sure to save blueprint fragments because you can also use them to obviously enhance these blueprints themselves the scout blueprints are found in the broken delta area so these ones are really easy to get set is a really early unlock and it's actually good to watch videos so you make sure to not unlock everything early it's level 15 zone we have our guns and our armor we need to calibrate them the reason we need to calibrate them is the further you calibrate the gun the more perks it unlocks so i actually even replaced my calibration attributes to get the best out of this gun and increase the fire rate and reload speed so this makes it hurt even faster because every seven bullets because after every seven bullets our flame procs and starts to burn so if we're firing faster we get the proc off faster and the burns go faster so that's why i put this calibration attribute on it so make sure you find something that works with the gun that you're using and the further you calibrate it the more of these perks it unlocks so for instance this sniper here is not calibrated very much it's only calibrated to this tier if i calibrate it to seven i'm going to get bonus weak spot damage and at 10 even more weak spot damage obviously calibration also boosts the main stats of your gun and the damage output so calibration is huge but with the armor it's even more important for this build because with the calibration this is how we're getting the extra damage every time we calibrate these heavy duty pants we're actually getting extra psi intensity which increases our burn damage. The more psi intensity, the higher our damage is going to be. So that's why calibration is so important. Give you guys an example here. If I was to calibrate these agent pants, I would get plus 84. I would get four more psi intensity and every bit counts to min max your build. So calibration is huge. Don't forget to do these things. So don't forget to get weapons from the world and break them down for their calibration attributes, which you can then replace on your weapons to maximize your output for the build you're going for. This is a huge part. Now this sniper isn't even matched with the best calibration attribute for what I would want, but the weak spot damage is a great addition. Next up, we have the mods. And now if you guys haven't been watching a YouTuber called Doomerus, you guys need to watch him because he's actually done up a document that I'm going to link and make sure you guys go sub to his channel and smash a like because Doomerus has been a great help and a great educational tool for learning how to make the best builds. I've learned a lot of information from Doomerus. Doomerus has a document where you guys can find where to get these mods. So I'm not going to show you guys exactly where I got all these mods, 
I'm going to show you guys the name of the mods. You can then look at Doomerus's spreadsheet to find out where these are dropped. So on my AK and on my sniper, I'm using Flame Residence. Now, I haven't even upgraded this as much as I should, because I can still get bonuses here to status damage, but that's besides the point. What Flame Resonance does is max burn stack plus two. Burn duration is negative 20%. It increases the amount of burn stacks that I get for a little sacrifice of duration. But this is well worth it because the damage is huge. And I've seen some other builds using some different mods here that haven't got the same output as this build does. So I would highly recommend Flame Resonance. Um, it is hard to get from the boss on hard mode. Next up, in my scout hood, I'm using Deviation Expert. Now, I haven't come across a better one yet, but this one's for my headpiece. Obviously, you want these to be the highest they can be, so a legendary would be better. But this basically gives me less range, but higher fire rate. So again, my gun is getting those seven bullets off faster to get more burns on and status damage on top of that, which increases our burn damage. So again, I need to fully mod this. Don't forget with your mods to upgrade them as well. So I can upgrade that further. Give you guys an example and now we've got head damage reduction which doesn't really help us but if we roll again we might get something we got damage against great ones we can try it again and we still got damage against great ones you can do this four times as well don't forget that um i was waiting to get a good piece to probably do that on and again i can even enhance this one further to just min max i can do it five times but obviously i want to save my money for now until i've got actually i probably will upgrade this one because this is the Scout Mask Effect, the Blaze Amplifier. Every stack of burn grants plus three Psi Intensity. And so what this means is you're getting more Psi Intensity, so your burns are hitting harder as we went over from the start. So this Blaze Amplifier is amazing. So make sure you guys get this on your Scout Mask. These are the two core mods that you need in this build. So again, it's just crazy with the stacks you're getting stacks on stacks because every stack of burn grants plus three psi intensity so that combined with the gun with flame resonance means we're getting max burn stack plus two so we're getting extra stacks stacks on stacks we're getting all this increase to our psi intensity over time which makes our output insane so make sure you guys get that one obviously on our gloves We've got elemental damage because because burn also does elemental damage and i didn't have anything else that i could really put in this spot as at this point because crit is irrelevant to us on our boots we have slow and steady precision plus 10 melee weapon status damage and when hp is above 90 percent damage is 10 additionally so we get just that boost to damage when our hp is above 90 this mod is great and i also got lucky and got magazine capacity plus 4.8 so on our chest we've got weak spot damage for our sniper again i haven't come across a chest mod that really gives us an increased output and then on our legs i have three strikes for the first three hits after reloading not exceeding 50 percent of magazine capacity weak spot damage plus 50 percent so this one again just snowballs our weak spot damage increase and makes this build hit like a truck so this is a really good one and it doesn't work with all the snipers because obviously if you're using an AWM, for instance, it's only got five shots. So when you hit three shots, it's exceeding 50% of magazine capacity. So you don't get this weak spot damage increase. Um, so I get this for both my guns because when they sh shoot three shots, there's more than 50% of the mag left and only works with the hammer sniper. And in our torch, I just wanted to go flame build all the way. I should probably get something better. But this doesn't affect our psi intensity or our health or anything like that. So I didn't think it mattered too much and I wanted this to be a full flame build. So we've got when defeating an enemy affected by burn recover 5%. So I could I could start burning a lot of adds and then switch to this and get just passive heals if I wanted to. So it's like my heal switch if I, if I really need it. So this is my mods. Next up we have the cradle perk. And this is a big one. Make sure you guys do this right. For rifles increase, snipers increase because we're using both. Deviation master is huge. When my deviation's out, I get 50% damage increase against deviants. I've got rapid aid because I've been doing a lot of PvP. And it's even good for PvE because you get increased heals. And here we go. 
These are the important ones. Status enhancement after hitting a weak spot. Damage. Status damage plus 25 for 3 seconds. So again, it's just increasing those burn ticks. We got Brawl Boost. Again, I've been doing PvP. So you guys could probably change these two if you really want even more output. So get Tactical Combo. Get Status Enhancement. And get Sustained Suppression. Killing an enemy with continuous damage increases continuous damage by 20%. So you can stack this again. So if you're doing PvE and killing mobs, your damage is just going to skyrocket drastically. And then down the bottom, we've got Prairie Fire Inferno. Based on the number of units nearby, burn increases blaze damage by 15% per unit up to 60%. So if you're surrounded, it's going to increase it a lot. This one again is more of a PvE perk, but for PvP, we could look at switching it out. So those are my perks. So again, I'm not going to show you where to find these accessories, but if you click on these and go to the locked accessory, it'll, it'll tell you what it's called and where it's found. And then if you go to Map Genie, you can actually type it in and it'll show you exactly where it spawns. Link in description. Take a mag in this so that we can shoot for longer as well. So now we've got 48 in our mag. And we want a lot of stability compensation. I've got the hammer compensator for accuracy plus 9, stability plus 19. The optic for zoom lip for aiming speed plus 10 and stability again, so less recoil. Tactical infrared indicator for stability plus 15 and aiming speed increase. Because I really want that stability, in my opinion, is the most important. And then we've got the extended rifle mag. And you also want to make the Tungsten Rifle AP ammo for extra sire intensity. So make sure you make the right bullets as well. It's really important for this build to get that extra output. And for our sniper, we've got the large muzzle brake because again, it gives us better accuracy. You could use the uh, suppressor if you want, but shots aren't registered anyway at the moment, so it doesn't really matter too much. And it gives you less mobility. We have the precision optic. We got the tactical infrared indicator. And then we got the amended SR magazine, which I probably should try and get the tactical pretty soon. This has been fine for now. Now, the final piece to the puzzle is the deviant. And obviously what you guys are going to want to get for your Deviant is this little guy here. And he is called Pyro Dino. And when he's out, you get an increase to target blaze damage. Increases target blaze damage received by 24% when attacking enemies targeted by burn. And it causes explosion one time. So this is huge. So once you throw this out, your damage just goes insane. And it's actually crazy how good this works together. So now you've got your guns. You've got your gear. You've got your mods. You've calibrated. What you can do is save this set. If you want to play around with builds, because this is one of our leveling builds to end game build you can save it here with everything in it so i'm actually going to save that i kind of want to get that weak spot damage increase back that i changed but this is actually going to be my new build because i changed a few things here and i can actually overwrite my previous build and so that's my flame build preset so then you can switch between different builds so let me know how you guys go with it but I am really impressed with how this build's turned out, and I haven't seen many videos on it. So I hope this helps you guys to get some damage out there, and I hope it helps you guys early on in the game so that you guys can get a full gear set without worrying about the wish machine, because you don't necessarily need to. And I've had a lot of fun saving my points. I still haven't spent my Star Crom, and I'm at the end game. Um, and I just don't feel like spending it yet because i've had so much fun working on this build and this base and doing everything and, and finding these things out so if this video was helpful for you guys please make sure to smash a like it's taken a lot of time to get this together and i've taken my time with it building this build and getting it perfect for you guys so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one
If you guys are new to Once Human, I do have a video on the basics of how to build a gear set as well. If some of this stuff didn't make sense to you, make sure you guys watch that video. And also make sure you guys check out Doomerus because he has some great info as well.